I'm Amelia Jorn, I'm an artist here at Apex, and I'm going to teach you how to do a British dialect in five easy steps. So the accent I'm going to be teaching you today is called RP, or Standard British, otherwise known as Queen Speak. It is a very fancy and elevated dialect, and it's not really spoken in England anymore, but you will hear it pretty commonly on the stage. It's also perfect to use during high tea when one wants to feel a little fancy. So accents can be really time consuming and complicated to learn. So instead of going over every single sound change, I'm just gonna teach you the five major ones so you can go from your American accent to a British one. Number one, forward focus. Now focus refers to where you send the voice in your mouth and Americans tend to speak from the back of the mouth or the middle of the mouth. The British, however, send sound to the front of their mouth. So instead of talking from all the way back here like I am, they talk like here. So think about throwing your voice forward in your mouth. Can you try that with me? Everybody say, forward focus. Before we get into the other sound changes, which are important and can be really fun to apply, it's important to note that forward focus is what really makes the British accent sound like the British accent. So when in doubt, forward focus. Number two, vowel changes. While there are more than two vowel changes between a British accent and an American accent, the two I'm about to teach you are the most notable and probably the easiest to apply. To begin with, the O sound in the British dialect is elongated, so instead of no, you get no. Can everybody try that with me? No. The other big vowel change is that the R sound becomes an O sound, so words like hot become hot, or words like God become God. So to review, the O sound becomes O, and the R sound becomes O. So words like no become no, and words like not become not. Number three, consonant changes. A big difference between American accents and British accents are how we pronounce our R's and our T's. Americans tend to enunciate their R's very clearly, in comparison with the British who almost brush over them or schwa them. What this sounds like is words like car become car or words like borrow become borrow. However, this sound change only applies to R's in the middle or ends of words. So words like break or read don't change. Another pronunciation difference between the Brits and the Americans are how we say our T's. Now Americans tend to turn T sounds into D sounds, whereas the British always tend to say their T's. So instead of saying pretty, the Brits say pretty. Or instead of saying British, they say British. To review, there are two consonant sound changes, R and T. The British tend to say their R softer than we do, so car becomes car, and their T is more pronounced than we do, so British becomes British. Number four, the E sound. In the British dialect, the E sound at the end of a word often becomes an E sound, with the exception to single syllable words like me or T which remain the same. What this sounds like is words like happy or pretty or party become happy, pretty, and party. Let's try it together now. Happy, pretty, party. Number five, lilt. Now lilt refers to the variety of pitches and how a person speaks. The American accent tends to have a very flat lilt or a monotone lilt in comparison with the British lilt, which goes up and down much more than Americans. This is what gives the British accent a feeling of being more expressive or dramatic. The difference between an American lilt and a British lilt becomes much more noticeable when applied to phrases. So a statement like, let's have some tea, becomes, let's have some tea. Or a question, like, would you like some tea, becomes, would you like some tea? Try it. To review, there are five major sound changes in the British dialect. One being forward focus, two being the vowel changes of O to O, and R to R, three being the consonant changes of the soft R and the pronounced T, like car and British, four being the pronunciation of E to I at the ends of words, and five being the ups and downs of the British lilt. So to wrap things up, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to learn something from this video. I can't wait to hear all your delightful accents and I'll see you at high tea.